Howdy folks, it's Adult Turtle here, and welcome back to Explain 11. Today we're going to have a first look video of the Freeware Urabask Fokker DR1 Dry Decker. This thing was released, or updated anyway, a couple weeks ago, maybe even only a week and a half ago. And I decided to give it a shot. It looks like fun, it's kind of detailed actually, but it's free. And a lot of documentation to read too, so make sure you read your documentation on this one. You can't just jump in and fly, but I'll go over everything. Otherwise, flown by the famous Red Baron. German pilot, and um, I grew up thinking that the airplane was called the Red Baron because that's what my mom always called it, and people, but it's not. The plane is not called the Red Baron, the pilot was Red Baron, but this is the plane he flew and made famous. Dry Decker for tri level airplane. Again, Germans were actually in Germany at Echo Delta Hotel Oscar. Just to fly around a little bit, we don't really have a flight plan. We're just gonna take off, fly around, try to land, see what we can do. Um, all that should be pretty fun and pretty straightforward. We haven't had a first look video in a long time, so this is um, going to be fun. One back of house behind the scenes thing to mention, though, as we circle this aircraft and check out its gorgeous modeling. One brief thing. If you remember a few weeks ago, I started saying how eventually my daily video content is going to stop because of my crazy changes in my work life and family life and that time has come i am not quitting i am not going anywhere but this is the last of the daily video content um, because of my changes in my life i don't have time to make daily content anymore so what does that mean that means Every couple days or every couple weeks or whatever, you'll get a burst of videos. So you'll get like flight some video, some racing videos, a couple in a row, and then nothing for a couple days or weeks. And then you get a couple more videos and so on and so on. So if you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new because of this video, subscribe now and turn on notifications so you get notified of the next video if you are a regular subscriber. Thank you for your continuing support as always. We have lots to do though. I have plenty of airplanes to fly and flights planned and subscriber requests coming in. And we're stuck, not stuck, we're smack dab in the middle of our driver's cup for Forza. And I do want to finish that. So we have plenty of content to do and I'm not going anywhere. I'm not quitting or anything. I just don't have the time to do it daily. So the time has come that after this video, I don't know when the next video is going to be. I doubt I'll sneak one in for tomorrow, and I doubt I'll have one in the next couple days, but you never know. So, there you go. Just wanted to make that clear because people are used to daily content, and if I go three days without a video, I get all these comments and emails asking what happened. So, that's what's happening. Not quitting. It's just real life. Alrighty. So that being said, let's have a look at this thing and get started, shall we? So we've been circling the outside. We don't really need to look more at the outside. It looks nice. Um, looks great. It's a freeware Basque type modeling. Looks good, right? It's not like super duper photorealistic or anything, at least not on my screen. It's kind of dark because I got the sun low. It's like 845 in the sim. AM. And it's actually a pre-work video in real life. If you're wondering why my voice sounds kind of funny. Um, I used to do a lot of my videos before work. And after today, that cannot happen anymore because I'm working in an office again um strange haven't worked in an office in almost three years been working from home so lots of changes and i'm getting sidetracked again let's talk about this airplane like i said before there's lots you need to know you can't just jump in and fly um there's documentation to read i printed out the most important pages and have them in front of me because of my recording software i cannot jump back and forth so things we need to know let's hop inside first of all up here we need to know what is going on in these instruments and things. So first of all, we have a gunmaster switch, which is right here. If you want to fire your guns. I don't know if the guns are going to work. I don't think I have um, combat enabled in the simulator. It used to be an X-Plane 10. You had to enable combat and set up your buttons and things. I don't know if that's true in X-Plane 11 because I don't do multiplayer nor combat. So I don't know about x 11, but anyway, that's your gun switch. We will try them if I remember. Ah, uh, fuel gauge. Where is the fuel gauge? The fuel gauge is right in front of us here. Can't really see it. I don't think we really need to see it, but anyway, there's your fuel gauge. Whoops. 
The presets are different on this one. And the anemometer, which is your airspeed in kilometers per hour times 10. So that'd be 60, 80, 100 kilometers per hour. Those are the things we need to know there. Moving to the next page of the documentation, which you would have yourself if you downloaded this aircraft. Um, lots of stuff going on down here. RPM gauge is where? Where's your RPM gauge? Right here. I can barely see it, but there you go. I assume that's hundreds, maybe 400. Um, altimeter shows altitude in kilometers. So this is a kilometer. So that'd be 500 kilometers, for example. So what's a kilometer? I can't remember. Isn't it like, isn't like roughly 1.5 miles, one kilometer. So one kilometer would be, if you reverse that, I don't know, three quarters of a mile-ish on the bottom of your screen is the correct translation or conversion. So one kilometer would be how every many feet or miles, really, miles that I have on the bottom of your screen. Um, so that'd be interesting. So we're probably, you know, not going to get too much above a kilometer. Maybe we'll hit a kilometer. Very interesting way to measure that. But we are talking about the olden days, as my kids call everything before 1995. The olden days. All right. Oil pulsator shows if your engine has oil. And I have a preset for that one somewhere right there. And it says check the level because if you land, if it's low and you run out of oil before you land, you're in trouble. So apparently these people who flew these things, um, they didn't seem to care too much about the fuel. They cared more about the oil, I guess. You had to land before you ran out of oil. That's my understanding. The compass shows your current position, which is right here. There's also an on-screen compass I'll show you. And the blip switch. Where does it go? Jeez Louise, right here. You need to do that while you land in order to land because RPMs are so high you can't land. So you have to kill the engine. You have to blip it off so you can land. Think about that a second. You're coming in for landing. With the engine running, the RPMs are too high. You can't land. So you have to turn the engine off before touchdown to slow down and land. That's going to be fascinating. I am sure we're going to crash this thing when we try to land it. Um, otherwise, back to my normal view, which I don't know what my normal view is because my presets are screwed up. Um, fuel tap cuts off fuel. That is, where's that? Right here with the red, of course. Fire buttons use a fire guns right here if set up, so it might not work. We'll try it. Magnetos are used in the startup. You have your startup starting magneto here and your magneto switch here. All right, where were we? I just had a slight interruption. Where were we? We talked about everything in the cockpit, right? And we're looking around, enjoying the views, taking our time. We're not in a hurry. This isn't gonna be like a 10 minute video or anything. You can start it up from this information, but um, we're taking our time. One more thing I wanted to show you in the cockpit is this. Here's your startup procedure, taxi takeoff and climb procedure, cruising descent landing. Now we, I have this printed out in my hand with much more detail. So this is in here. But there's much more detail in the in the documentation. So make sure you check that out. All right, next thing here. Um, menu options. Here we go. Game mode, simulation, arcade. Um, in game mode, the aircraft will not fail. Okay. Music on or off. We're going to keep the music off because they don't know if it's copyright or not. I don't want to deal with that on YouTube. Maybe I'll listen to myself. I mean, oh, I'm not recording, but I don't even know what it sounds like. I've had it off this whole time. Um, let's see, music is off. Motor casing, we'll take that off in a second. That's on the outside. And lighting for multiplayer. I guess maybe choose teams. I don't know. Anyway, let's hop around outside and let's take off this casing, which is this beautiful modeled metal right here. Can't keep it on when you fly. So there you go. Now it's gone. What else do we have? Propeller, you need that to start. And then you can put your compass on the screen, which if I do use the compass, I'm going to put it right here. Does it stay there? Okay, that'd be funny if it went back to the default position every time. So we'll use that just in case. Um, otherwise, I think we're ready to start this thing up. Um, let's look at the whole thing. We'll start procedure shutdown, but let's read something here that we got to know. Um, for takeoff, like a real pilot, taxiing the takeoff required you to look forward left because your center view is obstructed. That is true. 
So that's why we have these presets right here. So we can see where we're going, essentially. Um, for takeoff, we move the wooden board by pressing the B key. Um, okay, remove the wooden board by pressing the B key. Okay, good. Which was the brake key when I used FSX. Gently push throttle forward when accelerating. Oh, wait, maybe we need that before we start it up. Or we're going to roll forward with our PMs. Let's keep that there. Push throttle thrower forward, accelerating. Gently push control back. And blah, 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 blah. Be careful of the balance. A prop strike. Do not push too hard. Oh, because you got to push forward. Uh, let's see if I remember that. I'm not going to. Be prepared for strong torque when running the engine. Counteracted by maintaining stick and render. That's not unusual, except for the strength of the torque, probably. Descends when you descends when you roll. Okay, whatever. Then it climbs when you roll. So when you roll left, it descends. When you roll right, it ascends or climbs. Takeoff at 70. Okay. That's easy for takeoff. Reviewing landing. Use a grass one use a grass runway. Okay. At idle, it's too fast, so blip the switch. We know that. Landing is 60 kilometers after touchdown. Pull the stick back to get the tail on the ground. Do not push forward. Note that the plane consumes oil. Six liters per hour. The only oil, level, oil lever drops. Holy cow, it's like 5 in the morning before work. Sorry. The oil level drops when it is running. To avoid, check the pulsator. Okay. So basically, when you take off, you push it forward. Get that tail off the ground, and then you ascend. And when you land, you hit the blip switch, and then you land at 60, which is that first number, so that's easy to see. Okay. Don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a shot. Alrighty, start up by opening the fuel tap, which is this thing. Was it this thing? Okay, opening the fuel tap. Use the starting magneto. That was a fuel tap, right? Because that I had to use manually. That wasn't on my preset. Let me check my thing. Was that the fuel tap again with that? Um, what you can call it? Yeah. Okay. With the red tape. Alrighty. So paint, I guess. Set the starting magnet, starting magneto to the right, which is there was this one, right? Come on. Um. There we go. Push the mixture love fully forward. I already did that with my yoke. That's right here. I did that first for some reason. Set magnetos to both. I can't see this, so it has to be that, right? Because I only have two options here. What? Hang on. No, I'm not trying to start. Hang on. <laughs> Let's get in here. Does it say both somewhere? Yeah, it does. It says both. Okay, so there's two. I guess you only have options off or on. You don't have left and right option in this. Because that says both? I don't know. No, that says Bosch. Two. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Okay. Show the propeller and... Come around here. Propeller and start engine. Um, No. I want to start. Start up, you goofball. Come on. I'm holding it down. Um, what did I miss? What did I miss? Okay. Big needles must not be in both. So, let's see. Starting over, what do we have here? We have open fuel tap by pushing it all open by turning it to the left. Maybe the fuel tap was already open. Oh, let's try it now. Maybe the fuel tap was already open when you start the aircraft, when you load the aircraft. Yep. Okay, so that's what was going on. Um, you're not going to stall him, Mary. Oh. oh, that's gorgeous. Alrighty, so when you load the aircraft, it's already open. Whatever. Okay. Um, moving along. Uh, for shutdown, you just pull the fuel mixture back. That's why I need to. All right, so here we go. Let's see what I remember without looking at my instructions constantly. Let's turn on my personal volume. And let's have at it. So let's see. We're going to go like that. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to look outside and see where we are. So World Brothers turned off, obviously, 
because um, we always have weather turned off for a first look video because we want to go in the aircraft. We're just going to take off right there. I don't know whatever that is, three or something. Pull up the map. We're just going to fly around and come back. Either land at this airport or any airport. Hopefully this one because of the grass runway. Wait, I don't see grass runway. Never mind. We'll land wherever we want. Okay, let's go like this so we can see. Let's take that parking brake off. And no, we don't. We don't have parking brake. We have this board. There you go. Okie dokie. Let's see how this goes. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Alrighty. Let's see. Slowly and carefully. Looking outside. Just imagine the dude sticking his head out the side, which I'm sure they had to do. But it's kind of funny. There we go. Be careful because as you leave the grass, you'll pick up a lot of speed. Alrighty. Are we ready? Are there flaps in this? No, I don't see anything about flaps. No, I didn't think there were flaps. Alright, let's see. We're going to go like this. And then push, oh golf, that torque is crazy. Okay, never mind. We're up. Oh, that was STOL. I think in 10 feet we were in the air. Holy moly. That was crazy. Okay, well, I was all prepared to line us up. And then I was going to um, push the yoke forward and all this stuff. And no, it just instantly took off the helicopter. Alrighty, so what are we doing? Well, it's very smooth, very easy to fly. Um, there's like, it's like perfectly trimmed. And like, I'm not touching anything. Okay. Anyway, what can we do? Well, we're gonna look. We're gonna fly around a little bit. Then we're gonna look around. Super high frame rates. This is nice. Yay! This is really easy to fly. I was expecting it to be quite difficult, but no, it isn't. Landing is a different story, I'm sure. Alrighty. Well. What do we have here? We have some some views off the wings set up here. Oh wow, you can like... Oh yeah, there's aerobatics you can do too, by the way. There's a whole section in the documentation about aerobatics and all the different maneuvers and everything, which I'm not going to get into. But um, if you want to yourself, you can. This is awesome. Very nice. Alright, let's see here. Let's mess around a little bit, then we'll play with the guns, and then that'll be it, because there's not much to say. It's simple, super simple, just landing. So let's see, let's go up like this. We're going to go straight up, and then we're going to turn and come back down. Is it this fun little maneuver? I don't know. I don't think, I don't know, maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Anyway, there's names for all these things. I don't know anything about them. Oh, uh, let's see, I'm just keeping an airspeed. 200 kilometers an hour? No. Wow, okay. I think it was fast. Alrighty, can we do a roll in this? Can you? I don't think you can. Maybe you can. Oh boy. Maybe if had more altitude, it'd be safer. Okay, what else can we do? I don't think you can do this. You crashed. You exceeded the G limits. Okay. Oops. Let's get this back. Oops. <laughs> I did not know that was part of this. Alrighty, that's fun. We're gonna keep going. Oh, my wings flew off. Oh dear. Oh dear, I lost it all. Oopsie doopsie. No wings or anything. Alrighty, well, we got more to do. We got some guns to fire and some landing, so let's restart this thing and let's continue where we left off, shall we? Well, I did a new flight and um, we still don't have our aircraft. It's still broken in many pieces. So I'm gonna have to reload the whole sim. I will be back in a moment. All right, we're back. Let's see if we can get this thing started up again. So this is already on. Um, this goes forward. This we go here, I think. And this we go here. Come on. No. Give me my click spot. Come on. There we go. Jeez. And then we come out here, I think. And we remove this casing. Is that what it said? And then we start this thing up. Right? It'll work. And I forgot something. Now what did I forget? Now what did we forget? Nope. It's running. I didn't forget anything. Okay. Let's remove our board. And let's hop in here. Let's try this again. 
That's kind of funny. But it's good to know it's extremely realistic. But geez, I guess. I'm just going to do a loop de loop. And it's like, no, you're not. I'm just trying to fire, lost your wings, lost everything. I thought I had the stuff turned off in my sim, but I guess this is separately controlled because it mattered. Nope, it is controlled by the sim. Look at this damage. Remove flying surfaces when overspeed or G limits. It's turned on. Has that always been turned on? I've just never screwed up enough to notice. Interesting. Back to our flight. All right, let's get back out here and let's see. Um, let's do it this way this time. And see if we can have a better takeoff. Although there's nothing wrong with the previous takeoff, but let's see if we can do better. So there's the torque and up we go. There we go. Much better, much better. Okay, so we already tried loopy loop, didn't work. Like I said, there's a page of maneuvers you can read about if you so wish. Let's try the guns a little bit and then we'll land and that'll be the end. So let's do that. And then, where's my preset? Here we go. Let's look up a little bit. Can we fire? Come here. Where's that? Where is it? There's a... No, 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 no. There's a... There we go. There, it works. That click spot is above the gun. There you go. I don't think you can really see where the bullets are going. Uh, let's step back here like this. Try to get the sights in the preview or in the preset. There you go. If you were doing combat, you'd probably want to have that set up as a button on your yoke. But otherwise it does work. Does this do anything? No, just this one. Man, it's really hard to find that click spot. It's not always present. That's interesting. So yeah, you would definitely... See, now it's down there. You would definitely want to do that as a button on your yoke. For sure. Okie dokie. Um, actually, this is a really nice flying position. This is going to be my new preset. What preset was I using? Four? Yeah. Alrighty, so the airplane is awesome. Cool little freeware thing. Um, we did mess with the Fokker long, long time ago. That was cheesy and silly. But this is very nice if this is what you're into. Um, it flies kind of too easily, though. It takes no effort to fly this thing. Um, it was a little challenging on takeoff, as it was supposed to be. And we're going to try to land now and see how it goes. And then that'll wrap this thing up already. Like I said, um, not terribly detailed of an airplane. I'm just trying to get a good thumbnail shot in here Let's see how this works how can I do a nice thumbnail that'll be a good one I eh, maybe not looks like we're crashing let's go like this I want to get that city in the background come on oh this is hard hard to do on purpose Whoop! oh I just found something out look at this space bar space bar shoots bullets I didn't set that up this is set up I guess space bar shoots bullets at least right now I don't know how that I don't know if that's default or what, but you can get that shot yourself. I cannot get a good screenshot. <laughs> Alright, back in the cockpit. I just spent like five minutes trying to get a good thumbnail view, and I didn't. So we're just going to continue flying. <laughs> so you need to find this airport so we can land. Um, where to go? I have no idea. So let's pull up our map, because I don't know where we are. Um, where did we even take off from? I don't know, but there's your port. Oh, yeah, there it is. Right there. Right in front of our noses. So you need to come down. So what does it say to land? You need to blip the throttle just before you land. So what I was going to do... I had to figure out how I can see and be able to blip the throttle at the same time. So let's use this as our preset. So we'll fly like this and then blip the throttle and then come back to this view. I don't know. Um... Anyway, we're too high to catch that airport like this, so let's do a little circle. No flaps, to my knowledge. My flaps aren't doing anything, so I can't imagine there are flaps in this. And gear's already down. We just need to descend and land. So yeah, we, you know, what's that? 500,000 um, kilometers, so f or one kilometer, so half a kilometer up. I don't know how many feet half a kilometer is, but... um. It just is, <laughs> whatever it is. Where did the airplane airport go? Where did the airport go? 
There it is. All right, so landing this thing, I guess, is pretty much like any tail dragger, except you have to blip that throttle. Because I'm at idle right now, and it's going to be too much power to land. Very interesting idea, concept. So where's that runway? There it is. Think we can make it? I think we can make it without having to circle again. Oh boy. I'm bad with tail dragers. We are going to crash. We're not going to land this nicely. We are going to crash. Or at the very least, we're going to bounce 300 times. Let's just see what we can do. Here we go. Coming in. Coming in. Oh boy. Coming in fast, too, because we're supposed to land at 70. Can we bleed off speed? Oh, yeah. We'll be able to bleed off speed. Check that out. So we're going to get ready on that blip switch. Now, normally, if I were to fly this regularly, I would put this button on my yoke. But I'm not going to worry about it. So let's kill it now just because. Um, and then we'll bleed off speed. So we're coming in, we're coming in like 300 miles an hour too fast. I'm just going to follow the runway here and bleed off all the speed, I think. Are we going to bleed off? And, no, we're not going to bleed off enough speed. Are we we're supposed to land at like 70? There's 90. There's 80. Coming in fast. There's 80. So a little fast. There we go. Do we have brakes? I don't think we have brakes. I think you just kind of have to let it roll out. And we did it. I mean, we veered off the runway. <laughs> but we did it without blowing up. What? How? Wow, terrible approach came away too fast. But again, if you're doing like a dogfight or you're landing for some reason, um, because you're in a war and you got to land quickly, maybe you would come in hot like that. I don't know. But we did it. We bounced like four times, but who cares? Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, we even have the Baron modeled. Alrighty, so kind of a disjointed video because I was interrupted like four times. I just edited it out, but I wanted to get this out to you. And I wanted to update you on the daily video situation. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Kind of a first look, somewhat detailed with what details there are. And a startup procedure twice. So anyway, hopefully you liked it. Um, it's not my normal style of video though, so if you are new here, please check out my other videos. More videos to come, I just don't know when, so please subscribe if you haven't already, so you get to see those videos as well. Go back and watch some old ones, and how come our tires are smoking? Our tires are literally smoking. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you for continuing support. If you found me by accident, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. Subscriber requests. If you have a request for a flight, let me know in the comments. I'll add it to my list. And um, I won't see you tomorrow, but I will see you. So come back, right? I'll see you next time.